nominate or nominate someone else from the group who's willing to um, be an officer. Um, we technically need three vice presidents um, because I keep forgetting the technical way Beta Gamma Sigma works, and many schools forget about this. The dean is the president, okay? So we have three vice presidents. Um, I screw up sometimes. <laughs> um, but many schools do. I've been involved in Beta Gamma Sigma in three different schools, and sometimes we remember we're only supposed to have vice presidents, and sometimes we forget. Um, <coughs> technically, the rules of Beta Gamma Sigma is it is the president's, uh, excuse me, it's the dean's honor society, and he is president. Um, so technically, we need three vice presidents um, who do a few things. Um, go to the leadership workshop, uh, help with doing a few emails and a few events like this. And um, the big deal that the officers are responsible for is if we become a premier chapter, the way you apply for, they choose the top three, and I don't know what it's called after premier. Um, it's called Outstanding, maybe? No, it's another one. Because they give gold, silver, and bronze. Yeah, to that. gold, silver, and bronze. And that is to put together a scrapbook, if you will, of the things your um, uh, your club has done to encourage membership, to get people together, what they've done. So the more things we can do like this, that's why we're filming and taking pictures. This will all add to our scrapbook to hopefully get us one year. We got honorable mention, which means we came in fourth out of the country. Um, so it's. Um, it's a little bit of work for a very short period of time just to put this scrapbook together. And it's really just pulling the pictures we've taken and stuff like that. So, um, and that's really the extent. Um, these three, the three officers will be um, actually um, doing the induction ceremony. There'll be a brief presentation by the dean, but when you take your pledge, there'll be the three who read the pledge to you. Um, as you take a very formal pledge, which talks about your commitment to honesty and integrity, and it's at the very core of what Beta Gamma Sigma is about. Um, well, should, we, should we talk about the monument? We definitely should talk about Okay. Well, we have a goal. You yeah. want to talk about it? Yeah. I would. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> um, one of the things that, and on the one hand, it sounds hopeful, uh, but on the other end, I, I, we talked to Landon and and Joanne Rand and I talked about it. I think it, it, it has some real merits to it. Uh, Baby M Sigma, in terms of trying to develop this recognition on campus, has a monument. <laughs> I don't know a better way. I mean, it's this big Baby Gamma key, uh, Sigma key, like the one. Yes. Okay. We'll talk about yeah, actually, if you click somewhere on that site, I bet you could put up a, a picture of it. But they're trying to get campuses, chapters, to install one on their campus. And you know, it has a base, and it sits up there, and it's probably about five feet high or something like that. And it's sort of just something that you know recognizes and makes note of the fact that you know there is a campus honorary society. One of the things that we kicked around at lunch one day is since we've only been accredited for 10 years, there are only 10 years worth of alums out there that are members of Beta Gamma Sigma. There you go. Ah, there's what one looks like, yeah. And so what you have really is the young alums of the School of Management of Marist who are members of this. And that it would be a real interesting networking strategy for us to do a fundraising project to put one of those up. It's maybe $10,000, which is a, a bad chunk of money to go after from about 10 years worth of students and that. And so the thought process we had was that that could be a mechanism for bringing in young alums, of creating a networking opportunity for you guys in terms of the best and the brightest of, of the recent alums. And really could be something that, that would help us to do the solidifying of our campus chapter in that. So that would sort of be the goal for us in the next year or so, is to figure out how to get organized on this, how to go out and reach out to all of our recent alums, to do those kinds of things, which I think could be a lot. I mean, we could do some fun things 
in and around uh, athletic events. Uh, uh, I think it's an opportunity for almost everyone to, to reach out to some of those young alums and build relationships. I mean, it, I think it could be just a, a real bright kind of activity for us to push. Um, anything else about it? Does anyone have any other questions? I have one more piece of housekeeping. Um, we're going to be sending out another email. Thank you very much. Um, one of the first things, um, and this is actually going to even happen before the April 15th. Uh, one of the things we do every semester is we, every year, excuse me, we honor um, a faculty of the year. Um, with the Faculty of the Year Award from Beta Gamma Sigma. So we will be soliciting from your opinion who better to nominate than students. We will be soliciting from you, or Rayanna will, nominations for um, Faculty of the Year. And um, once we have those nominations, we'll create a ballot, the top three vote getters or whatever, and then we'll send it up to you um, for you to uh, vote. And then the top vote getter we will honor with a faculty of the year award at the induction. Yes, they do. Did it have to be from the school of management? Yes, they do. Don't no, put Yes. I'll vote. Okay. I said answer that so quickly and then I went, <laughs> wait, maybe I should check on that. Um, they have always been, which is why um, I thought yes. Yes, they have to be. So um, those are the three things. So please, please. Um, we're sending notes home to your parents, so if they say, why do you need $95? We're explaining to them as well as you the benefits of this lifetime membership. I'll tell you, the first time I moved from one city to another and I needed to look for a job, the very first thing I did was found my local chapter, Beta Gamma Sigma, because I entered with already them knowing I proved myself academically. There is no better networking than that. Um, and these are people who had proved themselves, so they probably had pretty decent jobs. Um, so it is a lifetime. This is truly one of the reasons this organization is not very active student-wise because it's much more of a professional organization and something that will serve you for your lifetime career. So please sign up. Bring your check to the office. Check with mom and dad. See if they can come. See if, if they can come. Do they want to come to the meal? Get that paperwork done. Second, we'll be shooting you an email regarding your ability to attend the April 15th presentation. Um, in addition to having a, a close-up experience with a very high-level CEO, you'll also get to see the new Hancock Center, if you haven't seen it yet, which is amazing, I might tell you. Um, and finally, we will be shooting you an email to discuss faculty of the year. Okay? Um, and, oh, no, nominations for officers. Thank you. And so four things. Um, need to become on your, and I promise this is a kind of low level commitment organization. It's only getting you in and moving that's an issue. Um, and again, the, four, the three officers will be um, hopefully putting a book together. Hopefully, we'll be a premier chapter. Um, we have to work much harder on those MBAs. They just don't talk to them. So. Um, any questions? Thank you so much for coming. Please, if you know anyone, oh, let me throw out one more, not Beta Gamma Sigma, but um, high on my list, and because um, every one of these people and at least one from the audience um, has already been involved in this. If you're not aware, I do a special course in the fall of every year. Um, it's Business 319, Ethical Decision Making in Organizations. From that, I develop the ethics team. Uh, we compete regionally and for four of the last five years, we've gone to nationals. Um, and, um, and so um, it, is an, it is by permission only. I need to chat with you, meet with you. Not because it's any special thing. I just, it's a, a unique and different kind of fun. Yes, I forgot. You were caught of it as well. Um, and um, so if you're interested, if you have three open credits in the fall, I'm trying to put the class together now. Um, being part of the class does not necessarily mean you have to be part of the team if you don't want to be. Often we have people who can't afford the three credits and come in for one credit, but they've done it before and so they want to be on the team again. Um, I just need some good critical thinkers. What we really do is help you think. Um, I think you'll agree. It just helps you think in a very different way. Um, this is the first semester since my spring and sophomore year, so we haven't done it. So 
So I did it for like five semesters, six semesters. And I can tell you, like, when I first came in as a sophomore, um, Dr. Gavin asked me to come in. I was the only sophomore, and like, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really intense. Like, just the conversations you have, they're real life, like, ethical decisions. Every semester, there's 15 different cases, short. Um, and, you know, it's just a way to, like, talk with other people. And I thought it was way over my head. And, you know, just looking back, it wasn't. I wouldn't have asked her. And, but like looking back at like the progress that it helps you make just in school and everything and I always like tell my friends and my parents about like some of the cases it's like an interesting topic and conversation creator but it's a really fun and unique experience so and, and so what, what we really try to achieve is help you think about things in a different way and we really hopefully give you the, the tools to learn how to examine a situation from multi facets to not just make a good decision but also make a good ethical decision. So if anyone has three open credits and is interested, I'd love to talk to you about it. We also have one position, we have a tremendous amount of research that has to be done for this class. So we also have one credit position open to, if you don't have three credits but you have one, we're gonna be meeting on Wednesday nights at 6.30 is the time slot for the class. Um, as we get close to the competition, we sometimes have to meet a little bit extra depending on how comfortable I am with where we are in the process. And you'll be able to easily read how comfortable I am in the process. <laughs> and, and what's, what's the best part of doing at the state? Yeah, meal every I cook. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work, so I have to do something to reward people for coming. <laughs> So um, if you're interested, please come by and see me. As you all know, April 4th is the beginning of registration, I'm pretty sure. And so these last couple of weeks, we're, you should be meeting with your advisors, those of you who are coming back to us, those of you who are moving on. Um, you get to miss that one for this semester. Um, thanks so much, and I appreciate your time. Have a good one.